What's up everyone and welcome to the club. In today's video, we're creating a sketch illustration of a giraffe. Let's begin today's lesson by sketching a circle in the center of our page. Now move to a side grip, sketching with a flat edge. Let's start from the very top. It's gonna to lightly work our way around the left side of our circle. Bring that in towards the middle and then go all the way around the right side. I'm just using these short lines and just readjusting our circle. Now with our circle in place, we start building out the basic shape of our drawing. Let's start by adding some guidelines around that circle. Starting from the very top, just gonna bring that line coming all the way down towards the bottom. And we'll add another guideline going across from left to right. We'll start in the center of our circle, extend this out, and then towards the right. Now we wanna place the eye above that center point. So right here, it's gonna sketch a circle going all the way around and then back in. and it'll slope the eyelid coming down towards the right. So let's start from the left side of that circle and goes down and out. Let's go to the top left side of our circle, draw a straight angled line, coming all the way down towards the front of the head to right about there. And we'll close this off with a straight line. Let's bend the front of the head, starting up here. It's gonna curve this around and then down towards that bottom line. From the bottom, we're gonna draw a straight angle line going up towards the bottom of our circle. Now that we have the basic shape of the head, let's draw in the neck. Starting from the top of the circle, it's gonna curve across and then just bring that down on the right. And I'll move to the bottom right side of that circle. It's gonna taper the neck so it gets wider as we come down. Now right where the head meets the neck, we're gonna sketch a circle, going all the way around and then back up. And this will be for the base of the ear. Let's go to the center of that circle, draw a straight angle line going up and out. And then we'll draw a diamond shape for the ear, going up and out towards the end. It goes down and in. And pull that back in towards the center of that circle. And we'll go back up to the top of the head and draw on the first horn. We're gonna curve this up and then out towards the right. Let's flatten this off. And we'll follow that same curve coming back in towards the top of the head. Now we want to layer the second horn in behind. So we step over towards the left, follow that same curve going up towards the top, angle this down in behind. Now I'm going to place a small horn on the front of the head. So right here, sketch a small circle going all the way around. And then from the inside, curve this down and then up towards the horn. Let's go to the left side, curve this down and then out. Now I'm going to add a little bit more shape to the top edge of the head. Starting up here, going across, bend that down. Round up the bottom and then go out towards the nose. Let's round out the bottom of the mouth. Just curve this around and then up. And we'll bend this back in across the mouth. Now you want to add some shape along the bottom edge. Starting underneath the mouth, start by curving this down and bend that up. And then we'll round out the jaw, coming in and then just pull that up underneath the circle. I'm also gonna blend the back of the horn in towards the top of the head. I'm curving this down and then across. Let's add that guideline for the outside edge of the mane. Starting down here, going across. Now this gap is gonna get wider as we come down towards the side. And finally, we're just gonna go up to the top of the head and draw an oval for the nostril. Once we have the rough sketch of our drawing, we're gonna go back and lightly erase some of these guidelines. Now that we have our clean rough sketch, we're gonna to move to the tip of our pencil and start adding some details. Let's start with the top edge of the eye. From this point, we're gonna step down, and just curve the eyelid going up, and then bend that down towards the end. 
and just curl that up. And I just want to thicken up the eyelash, going up, go across, and then down. Shade the inside. Go a little bit darker on the right. And we'll just tuck the eye in underneath. All the way around. And we'll add a dark fold underneath the eye. Let's darken up the bottom of the eye. I'm just going to add a little bit of a highlight along the bottom edge and then we'll lightly shade in the eye going around that highlight. And we'll just darken up the sides to cast a shadow and blend that in. Now from here we're going to move up and start tracing out those horns. Just roughly working our way around the outside. Now there's some fur along the end so we're just going to darken this up. Just adding a little bit of shadow work our way down along the inside towards the top of the head. Let's add a fold along the back. And we'll go back and start detailing out the back one. Now we're just going to work our way up towards that front horn. Just adding a little bit more shape as we go. our way across towards the front of the head. Now we're just simply tracing out the contour at this stage. Then we'll come back and add some shadows to give this some more shape. Add a little bit of a fold along the bottom of the chin and then readjust the shape. Now we're going to go back and add some more detail to the ear. Starting with the inside edge, just rounding out those points, going up to the top of the ear, and bring that down along the side. Now going back and just tracing out the outside of the neck. Go back to the front and add some more detail to the nose. Just pulling this down towards a point along the bottom. And we'll darken up the inside. Now once we finish tracing out the contour, we'll go back in with the side edge of our pencil and add a light, even shade to the entire head and neck area. Now in this next phase, we want to go back in and start darkening up the darker tones of the head. So we'll start with those horns, just darkening up the inside, leaving a little bit of highlight on the left side. So using the side edge of our pencil to add a little bit of texture. And we'll darken up the inside of the back horn. Just fade that out towards the highlight. And we'll darken up that front horn. Blend that down. Now moving over towards the ear, 
Gonna add some detail on the inside. Add some fur. And it'll darken up the inside of the ear. Now working away from the back side of the neck, I'm just gonna add that mane. Adding these thick lines going all the way across towards the outside guideline. Darken up the base just to clean that up. And now going in, adding some lighter tones to add some shape to the head. So start around the nostril, just working our way across the mouth. And then we'll just blend that out. Just adding a dark shadow along the front. Around the side. I'm going to add the shadows on the bottom of the head. And we'll increase the fold with a shadow. Come down. I'm just going to add some rings and wrinkles around the base of the ear. Just darken up the back side to cast a shadow. Now that we have the basic shading, we're gonna start adding the spots. We'll start by tracing out the shapes, just roughly going all the way around, and then starting with a light shade along the inside.
And then we're just working our way towards the back of the head, these spots. We're just starting off with a rough treatment and we'll come back and add some more detail after. Let's go around the eye and then up towards the top of the head. Now in this final stage, we'll go back and just add those fine details. I'm just starting back with the eye and adding a little bit more shading. And we'll enhance those spots.
Now moving back to the tip of pencil, I'm just going to refine that fur texture across the mane. And as we get near the end, we'll tighten up our shadows and add a little bit more detail. And that's pretty much it. There's a sketch illustration of a giraffe. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. If you did, please make sure you subscribe because I'm posting new lessons every single day. You can also drop your request in the comments below. I want to thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon.